Hey guys, so it's week 54 on the Crispy Ends, and sorry I'm using my webcam today, it's just a lazy day. Um, but today, or this week, our theme is to make a Kristen bumper sticker, and I have zero imagination today. Um, it took me so long just to try and figure out what I was going to do for a bumper sticker today. Um, the only thing I could come up, up with was, um, move along, sir. I know, it's so creative, right? 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 I know, it's blowing your mind, it's so creative. I know, guys, I understand. I totally get you. Um, so here it is. That's, that's all I got. That's all I had today. I was going to do something with, like, Kristen's face or something like that with it. Or I was going to do that, something that, you know, is, you know, resembles her or whatever else. But I couldn't figure out what that would be. So I just decided to put the pattern that was on her shirt. Um, that she was wearing on Jimmy Kimmel that day behind it. And I know, I know, you, your mind is still blown. I get it, okay? I get it. And just, I'm just so awesome today. I, I can't believe it, right? Right? Anyways, at least you guys can be excited for everybody else's bumper stickers. Um, yeah, I mean, there's other things that I could have come up with that were not appropriate. For someone who's almost 16 to put on their car, if they had one, um, which I don't. So, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll leave it to the other girls, because, um, you know, I'll let them have the good ones, because whatever, I don't know. Yeah, um, anyways, so, that's all I got, and I have stories to tell this week, mostly. Yeah, okay, um, so I got my learners, and my learner's permit, well, you have to, in Canada, you have to get a learner's permit before you get your driver's license, and after you get your learner's permit, you have to have it for a year before you can go take your driver's test, or whatever else, and, um, so yeah, my mom, after I took it, I go, I took it on Saturday and failed it, and I took it on Sunday, and I passed so, yeah, um, and then afterwards, my mom took me into a parking lot, and I kind of, you know, was, like, playing around in the car or whatever, um, you know, when I first hit the gas pedal, it went, like, really fast, and I was like, oh my god, so then I hit the brake pedal really hard, and it, my mom's car is really touchy, so it was, like, whoop, forward, so, you know, that was awful, but, um, and then afterwards, I got the hang of it, and I parked, and I did not too bad of a job. But, you know, that's what this whole year is for, is to uh, practice and stuff like that. Uh, I was really excited. Um, and I started school last week, actually the day after I put up my video from the previous theme, because I was late, because I was busy the week when we were supposed to be doing the theme. So, yeah, um, that was all right. I got the teachers that I wanted. I don't mind my social teacher this time, so that's pretty good. Um, what else? All right. <laughs> so, funny story. Um, so, um, I'm talking to Amanda and our friends Madison and Sarah, who they live in Australia. Um, and we were talking about going to LA in November for the Breaking Down Part 2 premiere. So, um, I was getting all excited because, you know, my mom found a job that was, she was able to get salary and she was able to, you know, book holidays and stuff like that. Like the other job that she had, they wouldn't let her. Um, Jesus, she just shouldn't have gotten laid off, okay? Everything was just so confusing. So she finally got that straightened out. We were looking at plane tickets and stuff like that, and I was, I'm gonna buy my own plane ticket and all that stuff, because I have enough money. So all that stuff, and it was all right. The only thing we needed to do was get my dad's permission, because my parents are divorced. So we need him to sign a permission form so that I can go across, the, uh, like, get out of the country, because I had to do that also when I went to Toronto. Um, so anyways... So he comes over while I'm doing this webcam on Friday night with the girls, and my mom's downstairs with me, and he goes, hey guys, are you there? And my mom's like, yeah, I'll be up there. And he goes, is Tay there? And then she goes, yeah. Um, and then she goes, but she's busy. And I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to my friends or whatever on the webcam. It's really important. So my mom's like, yeah, by the way, I have something to talk to you about, because if we didn't tell him right away, um, then... I don't know, there wouldn't be enough time for her to print off the permission sheet, and then there wouldn't be enough time for him to sign it and all that stuff. So, yeah, so she told him. When I was downstairs and I was like, guys, I'm really nervous. Like, I hope he says yes. So, anyways, and I'm sitting there and we're talking and then all of a sudden I hear them laugh and I'm like, guys, I just heard them laugh two minutes ago or whatever, right? I was like, hopefully it's going good. Anyways, so he comes downstairs and he's got the most serious look on his face, like, ever. Like, he looks like Mark Wahlberg. So, I mean, if he was Mark Wahlberg's brother, brother and he wanted to be an actor, he could have been because he looks that much like Mark Wahlberg, which is one fun fact about my father. And... 
he is such a good actor, it's not funny, because he comes downstairs with the most serious look on his face ever, and he goes, um, no, no, you can't go to L.A. He goes, you know, you're too young, you're only 15, and all that stuff, and then he goes, um, uh, you know, maybe some other time or whatever, you know, and I'm, like, heartbroken. I can't even, like, I don't even know where to begin, and I'm thinking, like, what do you mean, like, another time? And I'm, like, I can't even, like, there's not gonna be another time. I don't know how many times I've told him that this is the last movie, right? And then he goes, I'm just kidding. Do you see your face? You're like tearing up. Look, look, you were gonna cry, weren't you? Weren't you, right? And he's going on and on, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, are you, really? Like, are you joking me? Like, I was, I don't even know. It's my father. Like, to me, I expect, I should have expected that. Like, I should have seen that coming just because it's my father. But anyway, so then he's going on and on and on, laughing at me, whatever, because I was about to bawl my eyes out in front of him. And my door's open and I yell upstairs. I'm like, mom, can you say it for me? Because I can't say it. And she's like, what? Say, you're an asshole. And so she said it for me and he laughs. Oh my God. So yeah, that was, um, you know, an emotional roller coaster in about, uh, not even a one minute time frame. Um, so yeah, that was pretty scary to be honest, but I am like stoked that he said yes. He's like, yep, just get me the permission papers and I'll sign it. I think as soon as he heard that Amanda and her mom were going, then he was all fine about that. Um, hopefully I impress him by paying for my own plane ticket, maybe. I'm a big kid now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, and then, um, we went and bought a tent on Sunday, um, which is really exciting. Then we set it up in the living room, and it actually fit in our living, our living room because it's kind of that small, um, but they have to be smaller, so, yeah. Anyways, and, uh, I'm really excited, so, yeah, I'm just, I can't wait. I've been, like, watching a bunch of, like, um, videos from, like, you know, behind the scenes in, like, Tent City and stuff like that from last year, and I'm just getting so stoked, and it's not funny, and I just want it to be November already, and stuff like that, and that's pretty much all we had to do is checklist, and now we just have to, you know, book hotels, book plane tickets, and all that stuff, and I'm just so excited. So anyways, um, let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are going to the Breaking Down Part 2 premiere, because I would love to, like, chat with you and be like, hey, when are you going, you know, have you been to one before, all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just being an excited Twilight fan, and this is the end of the fandom, basically, and, you know, I'm gonna be all sad, and it's just, uh, right? Okay, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a good week. Sorry for me being not creative. I'm sorry. I just blew your mind today. I know, right? So yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, this is like a seven minute video. My theme wasn't even that long. It's just stories. Anyways, bye.